Hello everyone, uh, this video also is sponsored by uh, Kazakhstan uh, agency Habar and uh, uh, we we already made one smart element for your wizardry scenes and in this video I'm going to continue um, this topic with smart templates, smart, smart elements. Uh, in this case I'm going to show you how to combine uh, universally combine these elements, three elements, like a uh, picture, uh, one one text and another text with different, of course, uh, some size and style, of course, you can use everything. And all of these combinations can be very flexible, like uh, you can uh, disable the picture, you can disable some text, you can change this text, of course, and you will see the difference. Yeah. And let me do a little of them. And of course, you can change the size of any of these elements, and you still see the whole combinations are still working completely fine. And the last thing that is important, of course, for wizardry graphics, it also supports animations. For example, take a look at this uh, flare. Uh, let me make this flare more maybe visible. I'll increase the size just to see, just to make it more visible. Yeah, okay. And as you can see, if I start these two animations, yeah, the animations, of course, it's not perfect, but uh, as you can see, this flare running from left to right corner, and it's absolutely independent from the amount of the size, but uh, it's not in depends. It's com it's completely depends actually <laughs> how what what is the width of this block, and it's taking it is taking into account for this uh, animation. And uh, so let's take a look how to make it uh, from scratch. Let's make a new scene. Okay, I created a new scene, and uh, I'm going to start from simple. Mm, uh, uh, structure. Uh, this will be the text block and here I'm going to put some fonts like that for the name and something less bold for the position. Okay, position and this is, will be the name. Okay, and also I would like to put it like this, like name and after that position. Of course, I want to make a position following to the name container. And uh, obviously I'm going to use the auto follow uh, plugin for that, but not by basic default direction X, but by Y. And uh, yes, we cannot see this because uh, the X position is already spoiled. Uh, um, yeah, it's wrong one. Uh, so I need to of course, it's also obvious that I need to uh, change the direction, follow negative. And, uh, you know, uh, if I switch on the showing the bounding box and uh, center positioning, as you can see, the uh, the center point, it's not exactly on the on the bottom line or not exactly on the center line. It's a bit um, shifted. Somehow it's not convenient for the auto follow. If you use only one line, it's okay, but uh, if you are going to use more than one line, it can be an issue in the future. So I'm going to avoid this problem in the future. Let's change the orientation from the first line to the top. It's, it will be the most easiest uh, way to control text for autofollow. And for this text, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to change to the top. And now, now as you can see, the autofollowing is working absolutely perfect. So for the position, let's use a bit different size and add some uh, default uh, distance between these two elements. Okay, um, that's there. Yeah, that's already more or less a dynamic thing, interesting thing. And uh, one thing I, I'd like to add here, of course, it will be the background. Background. So here I'm going to use uh, uh, geometry, let's use Nogi. Of course, I could use uh, the rectangle, but with Nogi, it's more complex. And let's try to do this. 
Uh, I'll put background minus one just to make uh, distinguishing uh, between layers in 3D space. And uh, it will be like main background. And uh, I can use the standard plugin text BG connected to the other block. For example, I would like to watch not only the name or position, but the whole text block. Let's put it here. Uh, let's add also some material. Change the emissive color to something like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I already can. It's already possible to move it somehow like that. And as you can see, if I change the text here, uh, it's already working, obviously, as it should. I can increase. Oh my god, it's not working well, because I still didn't set up correctly the autofall. I, I, I placed the, the pivot points on the top, but forgot to change the autofall settings top and top. Again here, and yeah, that's like that. Now it should be better. So let's check. Yes. And of course, we have to check the, the second element as well. Yes, it's working as it should. Okay, so it's already pretty dynamic, but as you can see, if I hide the position container, it's it still stick to the top uh, corner. I don't want it. I need to um, place all this block uh, specifically to the bottom and to the bottom top uh, bottom left corner. For example, if I just hide it, hide the second element, everything should be moved to the bottom. For this, I will use, uh, let me wrap it again, just for convenience. Uh, I will name it content because I will, I'm going to add the, also the picture here. Uh, otherwise, I, I, would, I wouldn't add this container. So yeah, uh, for this content, I will use the plugin Justifier. And uh, for this plugin, I'm going to use pretty simple setting. Uh, first of all, I'm going to align by vertical uh, axis, by bottom line. And uh, as you can see, this works pretty weird, but uh, it's okay, because it's it. this plugin uh, calculates the bottom, uh, uh, bottom border of this container and put this element specifically to the zero position of the parent container. So if we go, if we go here, so like reset everything, and as you can see, that's this plugin working absolutely correctly. So it's, it places uh, the, the bottom line specifically on the zero coordinate by Y axis. So, okay, uh, I'm only need to reset, uh, not reset, but like uh, reinitialize uh, this text background, just Let's uh, replace it again, and uh, and because I use the justifier on this container, I'm going to just switch uh, this text background from the text block to the whole content block. Yes, now it's much better. So now I think I can just move the whole group like where I want, and. Uh, by this plugin, we will have the same position on the on the bottom and on the bottom corner. So the left, uh, the left is not changed. So that's uh, so I can, for example, move it. No problem. Yeah, you see, but I prefer to keep uh, the position as simple as possible by zero. Everything uh, I have to put on the zero. And uh, so uh, let's add the picture. Uh, I'm going to use uh, geometry, mm, where it is, geometry circle for that. Circle will have uh, the name image and place some picture here like that. And uh, this picture should be a bit scaled up. Oops, locked. Okay, something like that. And I'm going to um, move these text blocks according the size of this picture. So for this, of course, I'm going to use the auto follow. And uh, yeah, uh, the previous element. So what we are observing uh, should be set up correctly. The center and uh, the, the the local current container center 
should be on the left yeah that's perfect so uh what's next i'm going to also put all these elements in the center so for that i'm going to add some another one another another one justifier for the text just to place the text always in the center by vertical axis so i'm going to add the justifier again and use the align y by uh, center so this plugin calculates uh, the center the current center each frame actually a uh, current center of the container each frame and place all this container in the in the zero position of the parent container so now why it's looking so good if i hide something here you will see that everything is placed correctly in the center so i also am going to use the auto follow some default size like here and let's test what i what if i hide some elements if i hide text it's fine but if i hide the picture uh, you see it's not a good one why it's happening like that uh, because 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 uh, let me take a look again yes where is it in the layout and uh, as you can see uh, yeah the zero position of the content is here exactly in the center of the picture so that's why it's um, a bit moving um, when I hide this picture. So avoid that, uh, I need to make some um, uh, temporal guide geometry. Let's, I will use this one, like height will be huge one and something very simple. Yeah, something like that. Uh, oh yeah, it also should be here, yes. Uh -huh. So now I have to move this picture in order to move it exactly on the zero position. Like I have to like stick uh, the left border to this temporal geometry. Like I'm going to uh, make sure that everything will be aligned to the zero position by X axis for all this block. Now I can remove this one. And now if I remove the picture, it should be fine, but it's not. Let me check again. Oh yeah, of course, uh, I forgot to enable the uh, second settings for the justifier by X position to left. And now, and now as you can see, the left, the left border is keeping at the same position as it should. Okay. So now I can move again uh, to the final position of this element, like here. And now, as you can see, we got uh, the very flexible element where you can just hide and show any elements, uh, change the size. And uh, the main uh, thing of these elements, like uh, the rule, how they behave between the, each other, it works. It works like uh, in in like in web page or something more dynamic things uh okay so what we can do here uh let's improve our background let's just uh, copy and paste uh, this background i will use it for some mm, volumetric mm. volumetric uh, effect uh, for this text background i will use not other but uh, the next container and uh, Oh yeah, it will be overlapped the background, so it should be here and use the previous. Okay, and uh, all these margins should be zero in order to completely repeat the same geometry settings from the background. I don't need to increase the size. So, and for this, I can use some, some flare, for example, like that. Let's change that. Let's set up the pictures itself. Um, okay, yeah, I will use the linear, no problem. I'm going to switch to clamp, increase the size, uh, maybe rotate it 180 degrees. And oh, yes, uh, position. Let's change a bit. 
Mm -hmm. And scale it up by X coordinate. Okay, that's fine. And compensate what we added. Oh, no, no, of course, we have to add the, the expert plugin, switch from blend to add, and compensate the color of this element just to make the color more close our original color. Okay, something like that. Now it looks even better. Uh, so, and still working, still working as it's, as it's the same way as we did it. As you can see, everything is changing, but Oops, oops, uh, I don't need it. Let me just uh, repeat a couple times. Uh -huh. Okay. So now we see it's working perfectly. Uh, the last thing what I want to show you here uh, before we go to the animation, this is how to add the flare effect. Like I can show you that I have uh, some pictures for that. Uh, where is my flares? like that and I can add it uh, so where I can use it let's put it like here somewhere here and um, no it will be the part of the background okay and uh, place it a bit up by that position and increase it of course use the add effect from expert plugin and uh, so as you can see this element should go like from the left board of left corner to right corner and uh, it should be connected to the current width of this block. How I should do this? I'm going to use the same plugin, AutoFollow. Uh, and uh, for this plugin, I'm going to use, of course, the other connection to the um, to this background. Okay, so I need to um, specify how it was done. So the pivot point here in the center, and uh, okay let's try to set up it like this is center this is also center and you see it works correctly but i don't need this effect i need to um, just uh, move it not by the left border of the picture but by the center and uh, you can use this uh, bug uh, like that so it's wrong one but it should work let's test it I hide sign some elements and you see the X position, it's still connected correctly. So that's what exactly what I want. And uh, what we can do here as well, uh, in order to make it uh, moving correctly from the left and right, uh, it's using this progress bar, progress um, setting. And as you can see, it allows you to move from the 100%, it means that on the zero position, and uh, zero percent it means uh, do your following job so but i don't like that um, we limit it just by only 100 because you see i can move it only from the center to the left uh, to the right corner i also need to move it from the left corner so for that i have to change the the way of production of uh, producing this nogi from the center to the left and um, let's check <laughs> here i also should change it from the center to the left but now as you can see i have the full range of the movements like from 100 to zero and now we can even animate it for example from 90 percent to 10 percent let's check this out and of course without position it should be only progress and let's uh, mirror it, repeat infinity time, and just take a look. And now I can even decrease the amount of the of the content. And as you can see, the position by X X is of course working well, so I can use it. So as you can see, I even can hide it. Yes, exactly what I want. But I still need to follow it also by Y position. If I'm if I will use um, or oh, not here uh, here for the flare, if I will use uh, directions uh, here as uh, x and y, you will see the behavior. It's pretty weird actually. I don't need this this uh, behavior, so I need to split uh, different logics by um, two different auto follow. So I'm going to wrap it by another container. This will be the vertical 
uh, vertical follow and uh, for this I'm going to use the same auto follow but instead of x direction I will use y and uh, so yeah the center mm -hmm. for this of course I don't need the animation let me remove it uh, progress should be zero okay uh, so let's uh, yes also background correct okay so let me check uh, the background has center pivot point and here uh -huh. okay let me figure out what is this so yeah problem was like uh, because i didn't change the y position in internal container so let me reset it and you see that's perfect so and for this container i also should reset x position so now as you can see the movements is correct let me just only move it a bit up front the container and let's test it different content and as you can see this works absolutely fine so this way you can use uh, this interesting trick uh, from autofollow by using the progress percentage like uh, define the area where the object can move up left and right or up and down whatever you want so i think that we ready to animate it and the simplest thing that we can do this uh, of course the alpha uh, text for the text and uh, let's animate it from 0 to 100 and make a different uh, director for that Wait, i'm going to use take name for that and for this animation it will be the loop name i will put it here oh my god so so far away okay uh, and re reverse it okay that's fine duplicate it to position just a shift a bit now mm, why it's not animated what's the back uh, buggy buggy Huh, interesting, interesting. Uh, let me check. I don't know what it was. It's like uh, back uh, for this plugin. I have to recreate the text effects here and uh, repeat the animation here. So this is easiest one. And uh, next one, what we can do, uh, like add some alpha animations for the uh, for the picture, for example. This is the most simplest one from zero to 100. Like place it like that. Uh, add some extra animations for the, I don't know, for example, for scaling. So be like that. Okay. Mm, move it. Yes. Okay. And what we can do more. And uh, for the background, I also can add this simple alpha appearing animation yes repeat the same for that uh, repeat for the flares yes so we can start from from this position and uh, what we can do more for example move a bit um, this flare effect okay let's check mm -hmm. move it over here make it okay let's check so now at least we have some basic animations here of course you can make it more uh, comprehensive um, and uh, at least uh, yeah I showed you the ba the basic idea also what we can do for example uh, we can repeat oops not not I want but one is uh huh I can repeat uh, this one uh I will go into watch on the yeah next one so also I'm going to use yeah as you can see you can create some different effects and uh, the styling will be saved 
So that's perfect. Anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, make some um, border. For example, it will be almost light, almost white color. Uh, for the text background, I'm going to use 0, 0, but I'm going to change the Nogi geometry type from area to all outline, make some thick um, border in order to make it visible in YouTube. And that's it. Uh, yeah, you can see the animation is working. And you can also change the content here and uh, the wrapper. Just follow the size of the content and you can just imagine that you can put inside this um, this block, inside this container, anything what you want. I, I don't know, for example, I can put uh, several pictures. Let me change the logic. Yes, like that. And as you can see, that's just simply working. You can, you can use it. You see? Everything is so fine. And it still has an animations. Yeah? Also, what we can do, um, add some more uh, borders. For example, I can make uh, one more border and use, for example, not outline but area and change the style for the no, 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 for the text background. I can use not only the positive actually value but also negative ones. So let's uh, unlock that. And you can see, I can move it something like that. Move the object minus one by Z position coordinate and use it for some uh, kind of dark thing. <laughs> uh, just can be shadow or just design element. And controlling by this text background, you can control this shifting. Yeah, it can be something like that. Yep, and on. Oh, yeah, of course, I have to increase the amount of the beveling here, like double it. Yes, now it's much better. And uh, depends on the account, uh, the content. It's taken into account, and uh, this element is also going to the, uh, the the produce the whole interesting block for your design. And uh, yeah. Uh, of course, we can make something more uh, interesting and complex, but I don't want to make uh, so huge uh, long video. And uh, I hope it was interesting for you. And uh, I'm going to continue this topic with smart elements. But these uh, specific elements we are going to make also in uh, transition logic uh, tutorial series. So we are going to continue to repeat the same thing in this uh, video again. So uh, see you later and bye bye.